नमस्कार सिंगापुर इवेंट में कुछ ऐसे लोग आए थे जो सिर्फ मुझे पैसा बोलता है ऐसे जानते हैं वे पैसा बोलता है कि सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं मुझे बहुत खुशी हुआ अगली इवेंट मैं आबूधाबी में कर रहा हूँ जो भी एमिरेट्स में रहते हैं और पैसा बोलता है कि सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं और मुझे मिलना चाहते हैं मैं उनसे मिलने के लिए तैयार हूँ और खुश भी हो जाऊँगा अगर इनफ लोग आते हैं तो हम सेपरेटली इंग्लिश या हिंदी में इवेंट करेंगे अगर आप मुझसे मिलना चाहते हैं आबूधाबी में तो नीचे दिए व्हाट्सएप नंबर या ईमेल में मुझसे संपर्क करें मेरे टीम से कोई आपसे संपर्क करेगा नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका स्वागत है आज रविवार है फिर हॉट टेक्स का दिन है मेरे भाई मिंट से कुछ क्वेश्चंस पूछेगा इसका जवाब मैं अंग्रेजी में दूंगा ये प्रोग्राम रविवार या शनिवार को अंग्रेजी में होता है तो अंग्रेजी में ही करेंगे व्हाट इज इट टुडे सो बिग क्वेश्चन इज रिसेशन अपॉन अस इन द यूएस नो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू से व्हेन एक्चुअली रिसेशन विल कम बट थिंग्स आर लुकिंग नॉट सो गुड वॉट एज है नंबर ऑफ जॉबलेस पीपल्स है and also what is happening is critical sectors are slowing down mm. and the curve has been inverted for a long time in between it corrected and now again it's inverted mm. that means short term interest rates are higher than long term interest rates mm. all this indicates that there could be a recession mm. but a recession is not such a bad thing it's only two quarters of negative growth mm. if the us interest rates were 1 or 2% and then there was recession mm. it is understandable mm. they have successfully bought inflation from 9% to 2.8% hmm and interest rates have been higher for nearly one year it has been held hmm nobody thought an american economy would last 14 months with such high interest rates it has correct yes and now they have plenty of firepower hmm to cut interest rates as they wish as they wish so even if there's a recession it will be short and a brutal recession lasting only couple of quarters hmm. and i think the fed will start to cut rates in september mm. september 18th is a rate cut mm. and if the rates continue like this and mm. if the economy continues to deteriorate mm. they have an option to cut rate once more in november mm. even can roll in two rate cuts at the same time when they increase they increase at great pace mm. they can cut 0.5 and they can cut another 0.51 mm. but without bringing out the interest rate bazooka mm. they couldn't have controlled uh, inflation inflation what is its impact on india mm. india is very clearly last one year we are bracing for an impact mm. and the impact is going to finally hit us mm. already corporates in america have not spent money on it services mm. so they may really cut back on it services mm. our it services have not grown in the last two years mm. all profits have been the increase in profits have come by cutting costs mm. there was lot of slack over employment and all that mm. for last two years it has not been employing people mm. and it has also been cutting who went go let go wanted to go let go mm. in fact all the it majors have reduced mm. their headcount including the mighty tatas mm. and even this year mm. even though they made offers even a company like infosys has not onboarded people because Correct. simply they don't have the jobs mm. and even people who are on the bench mm. are being let go in 3 months time yes so you cannot onboard freshers so freshers have been given jobs and they are not being onboarded now there is a growing clamor that the government should intervene mm. there is no way the government can intervene it's a private company they made an offer they would have made it conditional the markets are not supporting it they will not open so there's lot of 40000 50000 rupee jobs mm. in it and related services mm. which were basically dependent on the american economy mm. may not be there and that will be the big impact mm. second thing our sme and msme mm. places like tirupur and maniambadi ambur and all that which was exporting small goods mm. to america that will also take a hit because america is a big market and christmas is a big season mm. so the christmas season buying may come down mm. if they believe that the sales will not be as good it was in the previous year mm. the sales in christmas will also come down mm. so the sme msme will also take a hit mm. 
ஸோ ஓவரால் அவர் எக்ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் மே கம் டவுன் த ருபி வில் பி அண்டர் எனார்மஸ் ப்ரெஷர் அண்ட் இஃப் என் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ரேட்ஸ் கம் ஃபைனலி மோர் தென் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஃபைவ் விச் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி டிஸ்கவுண்டட் கோல்ட் ரேட்ஸ் வில் ராதி வி ஆர் ஐடியலி பிளேஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஈவன் இன் ஃபார்மா நான் எசென்ஷியல் ஃபார்மா வில் நாட் செல் ஸோ ஈவன் ஃபார்மா ஸ்டாக்ஸ் மே ஃபீல் தி ப்ரெஷர் Hmm. But the depreciation of the rupee and cost cutting hmm. will take care of these companies. Okay. So, but what is the impact, you think, on the American election cycle on this? Because that's what I happening. think Biden was down and out for the count. Hmm. Right? Hmm. The recession has not yet happened. Hmm. And we are less than two months into... The election, so 60 days. Less than 60 days. Yeah. So, I don't think people will realize there's a... Before they can react. It's elections over. are over. Elections are over. Okay. So, but it is very, so I am not an American, hmm. so I don't have big stakes in that election. True. So, I am not following it very closely. Yes. But one thing looks apparent, hmm. that uh, if they had continued with Biden, they would have got thrashed. Yes. By putting Harris in, Democrats have a chance. They are within with a fighting chance. Correct. Very agree. Next, Swiggy is an IPO. Hmm. What is this? Swiggy is a loss-making company. Hmm. Like Zomato, they will be forced to show some profits. Hmm. So, what the matter is showing is artificial profits mm. and very little of it. Mm. And both these guys are pivoted away from ordering restaurants mm. because uh, their people have realized now the pandemic is over mm. that ordering from restaurants directly is cheaper than Swiggy. Mm. So, the ordering has tapered off or slightly come down. Mm. It's not growth has come down. Mm. So, both these guys, in case of uh, Zomato, they bought Zepto. Mm. And these guys have got a Swiggy Instamart. Mm. These are instant de- quick delivery commerce. Mm. And even Tata's back, big basket has got into that. Basket used to be delivering one day later. Correct. Now they are also doing instant Express, delivery. Express, yeah. There's two versions of it, yes. Two versions of it. Also, another thing now that has happened is, mm. companies are selling 2 to 3% of their sales is coming from mm. quick commerce. Mm. Somebody like ITC or mm. any of the FMCG companies. Mm. Godrej or even uh, mm. Hindustan Unilever, mm. the distributors of FMCG companies have started to complain mm. that these companies are making losses mm. and they are being funded by retail investors and funded by the VCs to make more losses mm. and there should be regulation in quick commerce. Mm. And Piyush Goel also has made some noises. Mm. The $1.25 billion dollars that Swiggy will raise in IPO, mm. portion of it will go to existing investors who are selling out, mm. but will mainly go to support a discount of more mm. in Instamart and gain shares. That's what they are saying. That Instamart will also spend a lot of money mm. to compete with Zipto and Big Basket. Mm. Yeah. The last thing I want to talk about was this piece of news saying, India's average household spending on food has fallen to less than half the total monthly expenses for the first time since 1947. according to recent uh, working papers from the economic advisory council to the prime minister say significant changes are unfolding in indian food consumption patterns what do you think? there are two things you can say mm. the government will say people are spending on more things and not spending on food mm. the worse thing will be that the employee then this is could be the most likely exemption mm. that food prices have gone up mm. inflation has bitten so hard yeah. inflation has bitten very hard mm. and uh, as we know people around us mm. that uh, employment is not very good mm. and like what in first story i said in this very channel mm. jobs are difficult to find mm. people are skimping on food mm. and if you are living in a city the rent and other costs are much higher mm. people are cutting back on food okay mm. but at the most what it means is mm. a major portion of india is struggling mm. and a minor portion of india is doing very well That's true. That's very apparent even when you read the news. Yeah. You have heard this podcast, so I am going to tell you about this. If you like this video, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell notification. Please send this video to your friends and friends. And please watch them. Namaskar, Dhaniyavad, Jai Hind.